Mother's Day is right around the corner, and I'm sure none of us have forgotten that. And to celebrate those strong, beautiful women that raise us to be the psychotic human beings that we are today, I wanted to share with you a non-canon Star Wars story about the love of a parent and the greedy, evil Jedi who snatch babies away. This story is from Star Wars Tales, issue 13, entitled Children of the Force. At the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, Mace Windu is standing by while Depa Bilaba gives another Force-sensitive baby to a droid. She has just finished her first Jedi extraction, and her master Mace is very pleased, stating the child will soon begin training as the others have, traveling the path of the Jedi for the rest of his life, and eventually, he will be chosen as a Padawan, just as Mace chose Bilaba. Bilaba expresses gratitude for him picking her, but also states their mission has left her conflicted. Is it cruel to take a child away from its parents like this? Mace responds, A Jedi's path must be singular and focused. There is no room for emotional attachments. She responds that she knows that, but even though she never knew her parents, she sometimes dreams about them, or who she believes is her parents. Mace tells his Padawan that if she is to become a Jedi Knight, she must rid herself of such thoughts, and that is the very reason potential Jedi are taken as infants. He further explains, If we were to begin training during adolescence, the student would possess too many conflicting feelings, and that could lead to the dark side. Our purpose is to serve as guardians of peace throughout the Republic, but we are fewer in number today. We must strive to keep our traditions alive. We only do what is necessary for the good of the galaxy, what is right in the Force. The young woman tells him he's right, and concedes to his greater wisdom. As Master and Padawan walk away, a woman jumps down from a ceiling panel and picks up a baby in the care of the Jedi. She takes the child and begins her escape. As she does, she looks back at the nursery and says, So many children. But when she opens a door, Mace is standing there. She shocks him and he force pushes her away, draws his lightsaber and yells, Viana de Pau. I realize force-sensitive children bring quite the credit on the black market, but this is a low even for you. She warns Mace not to make her do something he'll regret. She then opens fire on him, and he deflects the shots into the nursery, waking all the babies. He shouts, Do you have any idea how hard it is to get them to go back to sleep? And she takes the opportunity to fire at him again, but he manages to get behind her and knock her down. Mace demands to know who she is working for. The Hutts? Black Sun? And she tells him he's got it all wrong. She's not selling forced babies on the black market. She's working for the mother of this child. A mother that just wants her baby back. Mace is confused. That's not possible. It would be too dangerous to return the child. Training has already begun. Besides, it is a great honor for one's offspring to be chosen by the Jedi Order. It, Deepau cries out, What gives you the right to choose? To force these kids to endure a stifled life of archaic traditions? There's more to life than honor in your damn order. Like the love shared between a child and its parents. But that's something you wouldn't know anything about. But then she picks up the data pad Mace had been holding and reads it. Hmm, or maybe you understand after all. Later, Mace looks on as the mother of the Force baby holds her child, joyfully reunited with her baby that was taken from her by the Jedi. Mace looks down at his data pad, seeing a message from his own parents, telling him that they know they're forbidden to make contact with him, but they would like to see their son just once. Mace looks again at the mother holding her child, and deletes the message. So this Sunday, when you're wondering what you should do for your mother, should you call her? Should you treat her to a nice dinner? Maybe buy her some flowers? Remember that it's your mother and her love and her dedication for you that kept you from being snatched away by a Jedi and being trained to use awesome abilities and a laser sword. Wait a second. Screw our mothers! We could have laser swords right now! Fucking force choking too! There are tons of people I would love to force choke! Thanks a lot, Mom. Thumbs up if you're pissed that you don't have a laser sword. Come back for more Star Wars videos, Game of Thrones videos, comic videos, anything sci-fi fantasy related.